Hello, in this video, I'll be sharing with you why I love Caption and the most important tool when it comes to getting the best kinds of skin tones when it comes to color grading your photos when it comes to Caption. And so in this, we're going to be learning how to get the best color regarding skin tones when it comes to Caption. And later on, I'll be sharing with you what I love about Caption and how you can customize your Caption to look better and have you work on the images in a more non-destructive way so caption is basically a raw processing software and you can do very many adjustments regarding your images so let me first of all demonstrate for you how i would go around or how i'd go about color grading a raw photo when it comes to capture and so right here in capture after importing the raw image and by the way this photo was taken by bra kobe and so i'm just going to show you how to do this when it comes to capture one so the very first thing i have to do in capture one you can see my adjustments are on the right hand side of the screen so in order for your adjustments to be on this side like i have right here simply come to window workspace then you can choose migration for your adjustments to be on this side so I prefer to have mine on this other side. So I'm just going to click and expand that. So I'll just do this like I do in camera row. So I'm just going to come and take this down and also take the whites down. I'll just come to add a little bit of contrast, open up the shadows of this very image, take the blacks down. So in order to add a little bit more of the contrast to the image, I'll simply come to my levels and in levels click and drag in the black point like that and you can see it makes the image pop and i'll basically do the same for the white point so this is where we started with the image this is our before after before after so we are not yet done with this so in order to work on the skin tones regarding the photos in in capture one you're basically going to come to the layer panel you can see Capture one has layers. So in order to work on the skin tones, I tend to put the skin tones on its own separate layer and I don't put it on the image layer. So I'll come to the layer panel, right click and come to add new field adjustment layer. And you can see it creates this layer. So you can rename this to skin tone in case you wish to be organized. So after you have done that, we are going to scroll down to our color editor. And in, uh, in color editor, we can set we have basic, same as in camera row. We have advanced, in advanced, and we also have skin tone. So the emphasis of this video is about skin tone. So when you select skin tone, it's going to be highlighted by this orange color. Click on the eyedropper or color picker tool option then just zoom into the image so look for that color on the skin that you want the rest of the skin to look like or to resemble so for this i'm just going to come and i sample a color on the model skin that i want the rest of our skin to look like so i'm just going to sample i feel like this color looks okay about this area and as soon as you click on that color you can see it samples the colors that are existing in that given area so you can see the area we have been able to sample for example in this point contains yellows oranges magentas a little bit of reds and yellows so after doing that just scroll down and you can see that we have amount and uniformity so in case you want to make the skin color look uniform we are just going to come to uniformity and move the hue slider up and we are going to make the skin look a little bit more even and ensure that you come to also the saturation and also move the saturation forward as well so this is going to be different from one image to another so i'll basically come and i take the hues even more forward so that you guys can see the effect in this case so in case you're not satisfied with the colors we get in the skin tone you can come to amount and in amount you can simply come and intensify the amount of the color to increase on the saturation and you can 
play around with the hue values in case the skin is looking too reddish or greenish. So play around with this slider to your taste or to your liking. So I'm just going to move this towards the green side a little bit. And you can see by just doing this, the skin is now looking nice and even or uniform. You can see the before, after, before, after. So sometimes as you're trying to as you're trying to create even skin color, we tend to distort or to change the initial color of the makeup and some other areas. That is why we were able to put the skin color or the skin tone color grading on its own separate layer. So in order to correct this, first of all, we are going to come and get our eraser tool. So in Capture One, you can display the mask by simply pressing M on the keyboard. M is going to create an overlay all over the overall image. And you can see right now, it has created this kind of reddish overlay, meaning the reddish overlay is, it means that the effect is affecting the overall image. So every area that has this kind of red overlay, it means the effect is affecting that given area. So what are we going to do? Press M once again. So in order to eliminate colors, for example, you can see in the before and after, you can start to have distorted or changed the original color of the subject's lipstick or makeup. So just get the eraser tool and simply start painting with the skin tone layer selected. So just simply erase using the eraser tool. And before you do this, in case you have a number of images from the same shoot before you get the eraser tool make sure that you come to adjustments and you copy the adjustments and you paste them on the overall images that you have from the same session so you can simply come adjustments and copy the adjustments and you go to the next image or select all the images that you want to color grade and simply come to apply adjustments to apply color grading all over those images so i'm just going to paint like that on the lips using the eraser tool and its work is to rub away or erase color from given area so i'm just going to erase it from her eyes and erase it from some parts of her eyeshadow so to be precise press m on the keyboard to display the mask and with the mask displaying, you can see where the eraser is rubbing or removing colors from the overall image. So you can see that we hadn't completely erased these areas just like that. So you can see how easy it is to use Capture One and this amazing tool. So once you're done doing that, press M on the keyboard to hide the overlay of the masking so you can see by just doing this you have gotten the image from looking like this to looking like this in capture one and you can see how beautiful the skin tones have gotten to be in this case and by the way you can come to the opacity with the skin tone layer selected and simply reduce on the opacity for the effect to look nice and beautiful and a little bit more realistic so this is how I would go about getting nice and beautiful skin tones or skin color to even add more contrast to the model skin. Simply come to the basic adjustment, come to the oranges, and you can simply take down the lightness of the oranges to add more contrast to the model skin color or skin tone and play around with the saturation values as well to your taste or to your liking. So, this is how I would go about achieving beautiful skin color or skin tones for subjects when it comes to capture one i hope you have learned a thing or two from this very video so after this you can come and open the image to photoshop yeah image edit with you can select the photoshop version that you want to use and choose a format so usually i prefer tiff but Whenever you're using TIFF files, remember these are going to be huge and big in size. So you have to take that into consideration. Under options, make sure it is uncompressed. ICC profile. 
I prefer Adobe RGB 98, resolution 300 pixels per inch. Then scale is fixed. Then basically that is it. I'll just come and click on edit variants to open the image in Photoshop. So this is how I would go about using Capture One to edit and get beautiful skin tones for subjects when it comes to color grading and achieving even skin color or skin tones. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe in case you have found the video really nice and helpful. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.